about uh, 60 to 70 percent of senior citizens in uh, the community are suffering from terminal knee pain and that's due to you know uh, advanced osteoarthritis or rheumatoid arthritis of the knee i have seen so many patients who are afraid of the surgery more than the disease itself and it is really astonishing so i think the, the uh, you know, it is absolute a duty of doctors like us to take this knowledge to the patients uh, telling them how effective and how safe the knee surgery is going to be you know the knee replacement in a couple of years back involved a lot of dissection lot of intervention we had to put a lot of you know today the, with the old method we had to use uh, big implants and uh, big rods so i'm going to just show that earlier surgery the old method involved putting uh, rods like this and cutting this so it was definitely a bit of a complex thing for elderly people also it was uh, 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 slightly risky but today now with the uh, uh, use of computers in the surgery navigation the alignment devices like uh, orthaline and the newest technique that is robotics this has now become just a surface replacement so you don't have to cut ligaments like cruciate ligament, posterior cruciate ligament. You don't have to you know enter the medullary canal of or the inside of the bone because if you enter inside the bone, there are chances of embolism. There are huge chances that you know your heart or the cardiovascular system gets loaded or it gets strained. But today, what we do is we just you know actually during surgery we remove this disease cartilage and just replace it. So it becomes like a resurfacing option. So if you see this, then during the robotic surgery, what we do is we will <coughs> we have sensors and handheld devices like this, and as we go on moving this, the computer records the actual mapping of this entire femoral condyle, and that is created there. It notes how much uh, the damaged uh, the condyles are damaged, how much actually is the deformity in that. We also can take the leg through the range of movement, so we know in not only the static imaging but also the kinematic imaging or kinetic imaging and biomechanics of the knee joint. After that is done then with robotic uh, surgery, we correct the ligaments, balance the ligaments also and then we just have to put this uh, sort of you know cushion in between and if you see here, we don't have to enter the uh, you know, bone. We can just shave off or smoothen this bone with very high speed burrs like the burrs which are used by dentists and just take off the diseased portion of the bone. So in my experience, now earlier technique we had to remove you know, almost 10 millimeters of bone from all directions. Now with burring it is enough to just you know, burr off 2 to 3 millimeters of bone and don't have to actually enter the medullary canal which is of a great uh, advantage to the patients. So we put this cap there and we put this cushion here. So that is how the knee is constructed. The uh, you know, bend of the knee is also corrected to the absolute uh, accuracy. And uh, due to this uh, you know, sort of least invasive uh, treatment, a patient is able to be mobilized immediately. We can also just replace the damaged portion. Means this is a total knee with a uh, implant, but we can just replace you know, you can see that only one part of the joint is replaced. So, so many patients who have only one part of the joint which is damaged, you can just replace it, you know, preserving all the natural structures, the ligaments and everything. So, I think today to summarize, uh, the knee surgery has become very specific. Uh, yes, but the, you have to actually have the technology like robotics to get it precise. Otherwise, there is no point in just going on removing the bone like we used to do 30 years back. And uh, you know, uh, today you can just preserve all the no normal ligaments, all the normal structures with the help of this technology of robotics. And then uh, patients, the, especially the elderly patients, and majority of my patients are, you know, senior citizens with some problems like uh, have, uh, many patients have comorbidities like diabetes, blood pressure. They have thyroid problems. They are obese sometimes. They are all, you know, many of them have uh, cardiac surgeries being done. So all these patients, they are immensely benefited because they are slightly risky patients, high risk patients. So these patients also do extremely well after you know uh, this least invasive robotic surgery procedure. So in my opinion, the technology has gone a long way, and my uh, general you know uh, advice to the patients is that they should definitely you know be uh, a bit careful about the disease also and. Uh, don't be afraid of treatment because the treatment and the knee replacement surgery 
with the help of robotics has taken a uh, you know huge leap in uh, reducing the post operative the uh, intra operative cutting of the tissues post operative pain patients are able to walk immediately same or next day and they are discharged within two days so they need not be afraid of all these knee replacement surgeries and uh, millions of surgeries are done in the world annually so they are absolutely in my opinion one of the greatest uh, uh, sort of advances in medical sciences knee replacement with the help of robotics and computer assisted surgeries